Hi guys. It is a hot, sticky, sweltering summer night here in the end times in mid-November. It is Thursday night, November 17th, 2016, here in the end times. And oh, Sancho Claus and I I've had a hard day of building an anti-coyote fence, keeping my little dog from being attacked by coyotes. So I'm just now getting around to my depressed collapsitarian rant of the week, the whine of the week. I'm sorry, this isn't a rant, this is a whine. And what's going on in the life of your old collapsed depressitarian and depressed collapsitarian. Okay, Sancho Claus, <laughs> uh, he's had a hard day. <laughs> Sancho Claus has just had a hard day, so I'm going to let him rest while I bring to you my my depressed collapsitarian wine. So it is, it is about time, and anybody who knows me has been watching my videos uh, for the past five years and certainly since I got my little dog about, well, that's 10 months I've had this little dog. And anybody knows, everybody knows, as Leonard Cohen would say, who knows me, that I am emotionally challenged, psychologically disabled, pretty much dysfunctional in modern day American society as, as I watch the clueless fucking morons on this planet just cheer on the collapse of the planet. It has not been good for your all depressed collapsitarian. So obviously as part of my reaction to the collapse of a planet, I got my little dog Sancho Claus, why are you so lazy? Sancho Claus, to be my emotional support animal, and uh, which is exactly what he's been, all joking aside, my little emotional support animal, but we're gonna make it official because I never know when I'm gonna get, I have to get on a goddamn airplane and fly the fuck out of the United States of America to, uh, good God, where, where to fly to next? And I'm sick and tired of buying this little dog plane tickets. So if you get your dog declared an emotional support animal, a, an official service dog, which is, of course, as we all know, one of the single biggest scams going on in this country, an absolute scam going on where, where people I think I've read where people have emotional support hedgehogs I I believe if it wasn't I didn't read it in the onion an emotional support tarantula uh, we have iguanas boa constrictors but I got my little dog and this is no scam he is my emotional support animal. You think I'm bad now? You think I'm fucking depressed now with the state of the planet? If uh, I would probably not be able to survive a Donald Trump presidency without the emotional support of Sancho Claus. Yes, my little dog. My little dog. Uh, so anyway, we're going to make it official now. We have gone on to the website. I'm going to put the link in case you too want to uh, register your dog as an emotional support animal. This is the National Service Animal Registry. We are going to register Sancho Claus in the National Registry. Okay, good God, there's all sorts of, uh, let's read a, let's just read a couple of testimonials 
from uh, see what our customers say about us okay uh, well it's just your usual list of, de of depressed collapsitarians uh, writing you know and the no shit Sherlock thing anyway you can understand uh, what it's usual what you would think let's get let's get right back Let's get down to the brass tacks here. All right. Well, why don't we find out what is my animal's service type? What is my animal's service type? All right. This page will help you determine which animal service type you best qualify for. All right. They've got psychiatric service dogs versus the emotional support animal. Maybe I am actually need a, a psychiatric service dog. So what is the difference? Uh, I wish you could see this little hottie with her psychiatric service. All right, a psychiatric service animal is a dog that is individually trained for people with an emotional or psychiatric disability so severe that it substantially limits his ability to perform at least one major life task. Okay, so huh, do I have a psych psychiatric disability so severe that it limits my ability to perform at least one of life's major tasks. I think uh, communicating with clueless fucking morons without getting a fucking two by four and slamming it up against their fucking clueless heads. Does that qualify? What do you think, Sancho Claus? All right, to legally qualify for this, a person must be a oh I'm saying the dog must be prescribed for a person by a licensed mental health professional in a properly formatted letter that specifically states that Sancho Claus is needed to perform necessary tasks that the person is unable to perform for himself. Alright, and if you have no therapist, uh, they will give you one, don't worry. Chilloe Psychological Services, a licensed and legitimate mental health agency hmm. who specializes in online disability assessments. I think we will get, I'm going to go to this link in a minute, but let's finish this out. Uh, but let's go to the more general emotional support animal. Also is a, an animal that has been prescribed for a person by his or her licensed therapist, blah, blah, blah. This letter should state that the person is determined to be emotionally or psychiatrically disabled. I am. I am goddamn determined to be emotionally or psychiatrically disabled. I, I've dedicated my life, in fact. I have, I have walked away from a $100,000 a year job, a beautiful home in South Austin, Texas, 300 friends, and pussy for the rest of my life. This is how determined I am to be emotionally or psychiatrically disabled. All right, so now I need to convince my therapist that the presence of my animal 
it, of my animal is necessary for my mental health. Are you necessary for my mental health? I think anyone who, who has been keeping up with Sancho Claus for the past 10 months knows the answer to that question. All right. Emotional support animals are sometimes referred to as comfort animals or comfort pets. Are you a comfort pet? What do you think? A comfort pet. All right. Dogs, cats, rabbits, birds, many pigs, hedgehogs, hedgehogs, and many more species may qualify as a comfort pet. These animals do not require specific task training such as dressing up in humiliating little costumes for YouTube. Uh, they do not require specific task training because it is the very presence of the animal, the very presence of the animal that mitigates the negative symptoms associated with a person's disorder. Okay, an emotional support animal can be any age. I think Sancho Claus has had enough of the hat. So we're gonna let the hat go. All right, although the law does not exclude any particular species from qualifying as an ESA, common sense will nearly always prevail. Yes. Uh, for example, despite there not being any written exclusions, if an emotionally disabled airline passenger wants to be accompanied in the cabin of the aircraft by the service animal and the, and the comfort pet is a full-sized goat, the airline might have a problem with that. You might want to see my, not my video, my evil twins video if you go over to Doomudgeon. If you go up into YouTube and you search how to fuck a goat. How to fuck a goat. You will find my evil twin offering you some tips on how to make a goat your service animal. But you probably not going to be able to take your emotional support animal from the privacy of your bedroom to the cabin of a, of a jet airliner. Just letting you know. Anyway, I, I am uh, getting distracted here. Okay, but of course, there's, there's this, and that is uh, step one really isn't about the, the animal. Step one is you need to confirm whether you whether you are eligible to claim that you need an emotional support animal. This is as much about you as it is about your, your animal. So now what we need to determine is whether Hambone Littletail, your depressed collapsitarian, according to, uh, what's this group called? the National Service Animal Registry, who of course is looking for $65. If I'm not eligible to register Sancho Claus as my comfort pet, they don't get their $65. So let's take a wild guess whether I am going to be eligible for an emotional support animal. Okay, the first step to register your animal is simple and requires you to confirm that you qualify as a person with some type of emotional or psychological disability based on the information 
below. Although you do not need to specify your particular disability, just click the fucking box below, you clueless fucking moron, to confirm that you qualify. And drop a check for $65 into the mail for the little vest, you know, that little red vest that they wear. Okay, qualifications. This is from the American with Disabilities Act. Defines, quote, emotional or psychological disability very broadly and does not limit the type of disability for which an emotional support animal can be used. So if you are a depressed collapsitarian, you could actually say that Donald Trump, the election of Donald Trump, has, uh, has qualified you for the services of your comfort pet. All right. Uh, the essence of the law, the essence of this federal law, states that if you have any any emotional or psychological condition that prevents you from performing normally on a day-to-day -day basis, then you're qualified. Like, if you are prevented from working for a living, if you are prevented from being able to house yourself, you know, and, and not be a homeless vagabond, if you're emotional and psychological disability performs you for procuring uh, sexual gratification, for instance, uh, you are qualified as a whack job. Okay, note, to be accompanied in the cabin of an aircraft by your ESA at no charge airline companies require that you have a properly written letter from a licensed therapist or counselor, or in some cases physician, which states that you are emotionally disabled and require an ESA as part of your treatment. So you're going to have to, in addition to the $65 that you send these fucking scammers, you're going to have to lay out, uh, I don't know how much, with a shrink. We're going to visit this link in a minute. Um, and then they give you over to their scammer buddies. But, okay. Partial list of qualified disabilities. Age-related Cognitive decline. Well, <laughs> I think it's safe to say I qualify for age-related cognitive decline. Sancho Claus would probably agree with that. Uh, just the fact that I put him in this thing. Sancho Claus, are you abandoning me? I'm going to have abandonment issues from my dog. He wants to go play with a cat which is my friend's emotional support animal. No, you just have to sit through my rant. This is part of what you do. This is part of your fucking job as my emotional support animal. Now, come on. Come give me some emotional support. Give me some emotional support. This is what I do. I rant. I dress you up in these insulting little costumes, and I rant. And, and you need to give me some goddamn emotional support and not go play with the other fucking emotional support animal in the house. The cat doesn't want to fucking play with you. Anyway, uh, as you can see, I'm getting very anxious. I, I'm getting anxious about being abandoned by my, my, my own emotional support animal. I don't want you to abandon me. Anxiety. Yeah. Uh, how about the third one? Any psychiatric condition. <laughs> Any psychiatric condition. Uh, there you go. 
uh, see exclusions below. I'll go to them. Uh, autism, I've already done a rant about my, my adult onset autism that I suffer from. Uh, good Lord, bipolar disorder. Jesus, how many rants have I had about that? Uh, and then just plain old depression, just unipolar disorder. I've got that one too. Don't forget emotionally overwhelmed. I think Sancho Panza will agree that I get a little bit emotionally overwhelmed. Yes, I'm qualifying all sorts of, not, yes, a, a fear of flying. Uh, well, I, I'm fear of, I have a fear of paying $125 to take this goddamn dog on the airplane every time I get on a gas-sucking airplane. All right, I'll take you out of this thing. All right, post-traumatic stress disorder. That's just uh, every day waking up from the goddamn day before. Every fucking day is a goddamn trauma uh, in my life. So yes, every morning when I roll out of bed, the first thing I do is, is, su is suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder and then start suffering the daily stress disorder when I, when I open up the goddamn mainstream media news separation anxiety. Uh, yeah, well, I got that. I can't let this little dog out of my sight. Social and other phobias. Well, <laughs> social phobias. Yes, I think you can uh, look at the 55 nights Sancho Panza and I spent at the hot springs in California. And of course, stress problems. But there are some exclusions to the qualified disability definition. So if you think you're going to scam this program, if you think that you are, if you really aren't a depressed collapsitarian and, and you can't fit yourself into any one of those goddamn uh, categories, well you're a lying fucking sack of shit is what you are. You know goddamn well that every fucking person on this planet is uh, qualified in at least six of those categories. And anybody who thinks they're not is full of shit. But uh, what are the exclusions? Now, deviant behavior. Deviant behavior, whether political, religious, or sexual, uh, is going to... That is, deviant behavior does not allow you to qualify. Uh, we won't get into that, nor conflicts that are primarily between the individual and society. If your disorder is a conflict between yourself and society, this sick, twisted, fucking, clueless moron, global industrial society of breeders. If, if that's your problem, that if you have a problem with society, fuck you and your little dog. Society doesn't give a fuck. They don't want to hear about it. They don't want to hear about your fucking conflict with society. Fuck your, fuck, just fuck your individual conflicts. They, you know, this, this, this is the social order, and we don't need your conflicts upsetting the apple cart. Yes. According to Title II of uh, the Americans with Disabilities Act, uh, interpretation of psychological disability excludes common personality traits such as poor judgment or a quick temper. A quick fucking temper? Are these fuckers trying to tell me uh, that, that having a quick fucking temper 
is going to keep me from uh, from getting my little uh, from from uh, registering my little dog as an emotional service animal. Fuck them. Fuck your the, these ADA people. All right. Okay, we have someone approaching here. I'm I'm registering Sancho Claus for to be a, a emotional. Watch out! Your own emotional support animals are running for the door. God damn it, we almost had an escape of two emotional support animals here in the room. Okay, I'm losing my emotional, look at that, you know, look at how, uh... alright, anyway, we have time to move on. Okay, by clicking this box, I confirm that I do have some type of emotional or psychological disability. Now we're going to step two. This is, uh, oh, we have, Sancho, you have to go through a test here. So they have, they have on here, they have dogs, cats, they have a Siamese fighting fish, they have a guinea pig, they have what looks like a spitting cobra, they have a frog, a rabbit, and some little rodent. So, we have to, Sancho Panza now has to take a public access test confirmation. All right. Uh, your emotional support animal does not need any specific training, but only needs to be manageable in public and controlled by you. It's disabled handler. Sancho, where the fuck are you? Sancho! The cat comes in. I'm calling my, my emotion. And who comes in? The fucking cat. Come on now. I you need to you need to demonstrate that I have that that your disabled handler has verbal control over you. Okay. Alright. Oh my gosh. This is because don't forget, it, it is the very presence of the animal is what ameliorates the negative symptoms associated with your emotional or psychological disability. So if the fucking dog is running down the goddamn street playing with the other emotional support animals, how the fuck is he emotionally supporting you? He's throwing you into a separation anxiety attack. You stay right here, Sancho Panza. Okay, we have another special note. Uh, the, this group acknowledges that some emotional support animals are not on leash. No shit, Sherlock! Oh, I see. Yeah, as soon as I need some damn emotional support, you go eating the damn cat food. There you go. Alright, uh... <laughs> So we, they acknowledge that some emotional support animals are not on leash and are either carried with or without a cage, crate, or other housing. Okay, in this case, the animal does not need to meet the following on leash criteria except that it should show no aggression towards humans or other animals when under... So what do they do? They put a picture of a fucking goldfish bowl with two Siamese fighting fish in it. Your emotional support Siamese fighting fish and it says right here that it cannot show aggression towards other animals. And, 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 and that's the fish they use is a fucking Siamese fighting fish. That's pretty insane. There you go. Alright. But after that note, here is what my emotional support animal needs to be able to do. Walk beside you without straining against his leash. Uh -oh. oh boy. We're in trouble already. We are in trouble. Now, when we go to the shrink, we need to demonstrate that you can walk beside me, walk beside me without straining against the leash. You, know. you need to sit on command. Sancho, sit. Sancho, <laughs> Sancho, sit. Sit. Sancho, sit. 
Sit. There you go. All right. Okay. Lie down. Sancho, lie down. Sancho, lie down. Lie down. Sancho, lie down. Lie down. <laughs> I don't know, dog. Uh, lie down. Him, have you taught him lie down? Uh, well, he's supposed to, it says right here he's supposed to know how to do it. Well, have you taught him how to do it? Uh, didn't say, did you teach him? No, they don't know unless you've taught, trained them. Oh, is that how that, is that what they mean here? God damn it. Yeah. All right. And then, of course, come when called. <clears throat> he, he's doing pretty good on that. That's good on that. All right. So, but don't worry. That was the test. By clicking this box, you personally confirm to NSAR that your emotional support animal meets the criteria described above. All right. I'm going to click that box. We have confirmed by that demonstration that Sancho Panza can walk beside me without straining at the leash, he can sit on command, he can lie down on command, come and call, and of course show no aggression towards humans or other animals. Well, unless you're a crabby or a chipmunk. Right. We won't talk about crabbies and chipmunks like that. The crabbies and chipmunks will be our little secret, yeah. like that. But I don't think that you show aggression to, to humans and nothing like that. Just no crabbies or chipmunks. Okay. Continue to step three, which my guess is send him $65. Congratulations! You have qualified to register your pet as an ESA in the online database and receive the ESA registration kit. The kit comes with everything you will need to help legitimize you and your ESA and protect you from unnecessary right. confrontation. <laughs> All right, yeah. uh, and they want to. They want me to upload a photo of my animal so they can make his little ID card. And I just I need to go onto his Facebook page, pick out a photo, and put sixty four dollars and 95 cents on my Visa card. Uh, let's see, then the vest is optional. Let's see, it does not say how much extra the vest, I have to go you get need, the small print you need a vest. on how much the vest cost. The uh, copies are an additional $5. Shipping. Oh shit, animal name do not include your animal's last name. So Ponza, <laughs> there's no Ponza, there's Sancho. <laughs> All right, and disabled handler's first initial, that would be H. Handler's last name, little tail. <laughs> and then I need to decide, do you want a red vest? A green vest or an army camouflage vest? Oh, not the army camouflage. I think we'll get you a red. I still don't know how many, how much more the vest is. But he has to have. Uh, all right, there you go. But now, of course, I need to uh, I need to check in with his shrink about this uh, letter. Let's see what they are going to ask me. <clears throat> All right. So, we specialize in treatment with emotional support animals and psychiatric service animals, blah, blah, blah. The therapeutic effect of animals to ameliorate the symptoms associated with psychological and emotional disabilities has long been known and documented. If you suffer from a mental or emotional challenge, have trouble coping with what used to be normal day-to-day -day events, or believe you need the mitigating effects 
of emotional support animal. We are your folks. But uh, then, of course, you have to call them and shit to find out how much they charge to actually write this letter in addition to all of this other paperwork and shit I need to fill out. So anyway, I hope this has been some help to you in uh, your own coping with the world. So, uh, Sancho Panza, you're on your way to being an emotional support animal for my depressed collapsitarian rant for this week. Bye guys. Tomorrow, of course, well, about an hour from now, National Vasectomy Day. National, or is it World Vasectomy Day? Don't forget Sub-Saharan Africa. World Vasectomy Day, November 18th. And uh, what I'm gonna do for that is I need to find my old video about my getting my own vasectomy. And I'm just going to republish that instead of telling that crazy story all over again. But that's tomorrow for this rant. Bye, guys.